And Ron Paul is preparing for a town hall at the University of Maryland tonight. Representative Paul joins us now live from College Park. Mr. Paul, good to see you tonight. I guess I'd ask you the same question that was put to Newt Gingrich today. Has reality sunk in perhaps with your campaign, given the number of delegates you have and what I guess a lot of people would think would be a lack of momentum? Well, you know, it isn't over until somebody wins, so we're still in the race, and uh, the delegates haven't been counted in a lot of states that we've already had these straw votes in. So the delegate count, it doesn't always reflect the straw vote, so uh, we're very interested in waiting until the counts come in. Are you hoping at this point for a brokered convention? Obviously, that would help us because uh, Romney's so far ahead at the moment, so a brokered convention is a real possibility, the first time they've really considered it in many, many years. And uh, people try to say, well, this would be terrible. Why is it so terrible if you can debate the issues? And that's what I'm interested in. I, I think um, perhaps a lot of people would wonder how at this point in the game you have perhaps been labeled as sort of maybe even ostracized as the guy with the wild ideas and that sort of stuff. And, and the more we hear from other candidates, I think a lot of people would wonder, why are you getting that reputation when we're talking about colonies on the moon and other things? <laughs> Yeah, wild ideas like the Constitution, wild ideas like when you need money, you're not supposed to print it. Wild ideas like don't go to war unless you declare the war and uh, balance the budget. You know, those are really wild ideas, uh, but, but they're, they're not conventional, it is true. The conventional wisdom of both, the leadership of both parties is that the status quo is you, you defend deficits, you keep spending, you print the money, you don't challenge the Federal Reserve, you have the same foreign policy of occupation and, uh, and nation building and policing the world, but it's coming to an end. Financially, it's not going to last, and uh, that's why we're in the midst of a financial crisis, which is a reflection of a worldwide debt crisis, which has been generated by a dollar reserve currency, and it has to be addressed. It'll be forced to economic law demands that we address that subject. I don't hear any of those themes echoed in the front runner Mitt Romney's campaign. Could you get behind a, a Mitt Romney presidency? Well, well, it all, all depends. I, I won't be able to do it if he doesn't agree with any of my views, or I don't agree with any of his views, but uh, who knows what will come between now and the convention and when the platform is written. Uh, I think he's capable of changing his views on occasion, so maybe, maybe they'll come our direction. Do you get the sense that these... Uh the, the knock about Mitt Romney being wealthy and, you know, the latest in the press was that he has an elevator for his cars at a beach house. Do you get the sense that that kind of stuff is sticking to him and, and, and dragging him down and perhaps giving your campaign some momentum? Or do you feel like that's a little bit tired, particularly in the Republican circles, which are, are, are making the well, decisions here? No, you, you don't hear me talking about that, and that's why sometimes they think I have an alliance with him, only because when I think he's falsely charged for things, I, I defend him, like the, the statements that he was taken out of context, that he really enjoys firing people, things like that. I think when people get hit like that, I, I defend him. And, and this idea that you hit him because he happens to have earned some money, I, I think the other Republicans made a serious mistake by doing this. Uh, I, I don't do that. I'm more interested in his foreign policy, uh, what he thinks about, uh, uh, you know, N National Defense Authorization Act, arresting American citizens with the military. These are, to me, very important issues as well as the Federal Reserve, and that's what will make the difference on how much I can give him support. Representative Ron Paul, thank you very much for your time tonight. Best of luck. You're welcome.